My name is Joseph Spenlam and welcome to What's Morocco up? for a very special couscous Slim Brother health tip. Now, we'll just show you the packet. Nassim, if you can just show the viewers this packet here. So, we have this is um, Ainsley Harriet Moroccan couscous versus real Moroccan couscous. And today's Slim Tip is. Fresh food is always be better than packet food. And to test this theory out, we have Nassim. Say hello. Hi. And we have Shabia. Hi. <laughs> so today we're going to try the packet versus the fresh couscous. So first of all, both of you, can you please try the packet couscous? Mm -hmm. So this is the one from England that we've just made by adding water to only. So it took three minutes to make this. Give us your opinion. It's actually good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. So it's got mm -hmm. apple. It's got dried apple in there, which mm -hmm. you don't normally have, do you, in Morocco? No, and apples too. So um, nutrients. It's dry, frozen. So it's probably not that good for you. It's but not the, healthy. You, but well, you think the taste is okay? The yeah. taste is amazing. It is <laughs> that may be the sugar inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's now taste the real Moroccan one that was just made. How long did it take? How long did it take to make the fresh one? Two hours, I think, yeah. or maybe three hours, because we you, you usually store it very early in the morning at the nine 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 yeah. p.m. and then yeah, and then it you ended at the uh, eleven. So it's three hours, the duration. Okay, so let's try it now then. Why the, try the Moroccan one, why the fresh one, why it's with Maybe us. you should try the Moroccan one. Oh no, but you're Moroccan, so you should yeah, know. I, I want you to one. taste the flavour difference uh -huh. between the two. Right, so this one is plain Morocco um, couscous with fresh vegetables on top, some spices, and it's also got yoghurt in it, fresh yoghurt. What do you think? Yeah, I, would I would say the other. I would say this one. <laughs> no. I would say the Moroccan one. <laughs> Why do you prefer the Moroccan one? It's nice in the, in the mouth. It's very smooth. But this one now, it's, it's a little harsh. The, these ones aren't really good. I think, I don't know. What about if you mix this one and this one? It will give an amazing... <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, it would. The difference I feel is this uh -huh. one's a lot lighter, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. This one is, yeah. So maybe this one's for more of a special <laughs> occasion because yes. it's quite heavy. Maybe, and spicy. Yeah. It's more, more spicy than this one. Right, this one cost um, half an English pound, mm -hmm. which is um, about eight dirhams. How much do you think this one cost? Yeah, this so just I this small bowl. Uh, in, uh, eight in, dirhams or less? Yes, in, in restaurants. restaurants. I think uh, in, in very normal restaurants will be ten dirhams, but in very like um, expensive restaurants Expensive. will cost uh, like twenty dirhams, maybe more. And what about in the home? Do you think it's very cheap? Uh, you actually can't say if it's cheap or not because because there are too many things you buy vegetables and yeah. you know this one. Yes, you can't really you know tell the price, but I think this one is more expensive than the other the other one because this one you need spices and vegetables and meat and also you'll need uh, you'll need the whole ingredients. Yeah, and everything is fresh and. Natural. But remember, this one is much better for you. Nutritionally, this is going to... But this uh, one yeah. tastes amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it here from Morocco today. Thank you to Shadia. Thank you Thank for you, the Joe. scene. And we'll see you again at slimbrother.co.uk.